Welcome to Horses with Hula Chowdown with your host, Hula Chowdown. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of content. Just a reminder, also like and comment because that just makes me happy. You can also dislike. That does help me win the algorithm. But I caught some stuff from Sephora. So let's open them and see if I made any terrible life decisions. Because, you know, I do do that kind of thing. I caved and I bought the tiny little, like, palette from Too Faced, even though I'm like, eh, it's a little expensive for a tiny palette, but I never use a full palette anyways, and the colors just seemed adorable. So I got the, this one, Shake Your Pom Poms, because it just seemed like a really nice kind of color scheme. And let's, okay, I'll do it like on the back of my arm so maybe you guys can see it better. This is the first color. It's like a peachy kind of shimmery color. So it would be this one. And then this one is more of a matte, taupe, brown, matte neutral. This is the hot pink one. So it's a metallic pink. It's really nice. I like it. Not that I wear pink on my eyes a lot because it doesn't always look the best with green eyes or my complexion for whatever reason. And this is like a brownie olive type color. It's not quite, it looks green in the pan but it's more of a like as you can see brownie kind of with an olive shimmer like a green shimmer which is nice because you know sometimes you don't want green you just want hints of green like the the idea and this is another matte brown Let's do more because apparently I forget how to do this. But yeah, so that would be this brown one right here. Underneath that is, ooh, that's really shiny. It's like this shiny brown color. It's really nice. I really like it. And then next is up here. It's like, I think this is going to be more coppery. Yep, it is. It's more like a copper color. Whereas this one is more like a bronze. More of a brown tone. And this is just a matte kind of dark brown color. Probably like a crease color, you know. I don't know. I think it's a pretty cute palette, you know? But that's me, and I like cute things. And also, it's kind of practical, because the big ones, like, when you're packing and stuff, they take a lot of room. But, like, done in the purse. I also did get the Mirage Matte Effect Blotting Perfector, because I do believe that it was, like, on sale or something. Or my scissors. And I was like, well, you know, it's, it's on sale. I can try it. Maybe it was just like that day that it was on sale. But, you know, in summer, I, I get a bit of a glow. You know, a little oil. Let's see how this does. Assuming you just kind of, like, tap it on. And it just kind of blots stuff if I'm correct I mean it didn't it's not like it really took makeup off it just I mean it did mattify I guess it works then yeah I mean works for me right now trying it I don't know if it'll turn into a tight mess but right now 
gonna say that I, I, I do like this, you know? I have nothing bad to say about that. I also did get the Jouer Fun Betty collection because we like Fun Betty. And it's so tiny because I don't use full size products anyway. So like this, it's like so shimmery. Let's see. Let's see if we can put it on the back of my hand and show you guys. Just, just a little bit of shimmer shimmer. There, see, you can kind of see it. It's like a nice pink. Looks cute. It'll look really good when like you're doing more like a like a fair flushed kind of thing versus like bronzy, but that's okay because that's kind of what I do half the time. This is, this smells like amazing. I mean, I didn't put a lot on because, you know, I just didn't. But yeah, so it's, it's, it's shiny. It's shiny, it's more silver. And this, I think, that's just, this was a lip topper. And I do believe that this is supposed to be an eyeshadow thingy. So, like a eye shimmer thingy. I mean, it shines, it's not, I mean, it's no still a metallic eye thing, but I mean, it works, I mean, it shimmers. You could use it. That's what I'd say. So that was, I'm okay with that. And I got more Becca set, Hydra Mist set and refresh powder because this stuff is amazing. You put it on, I don't know how, but it literally feels like you're spraying water in your face, but you're putting powder. Don't know what it is. It's, it's like witchcraft. Like, I'm not kidding. I thought I would never find a powder for like my dry cheeks, but this, this works and it works on the T-zone. It works everywhere. I use it. I don't think I'm ever going to use anything else, to be honest. I mean, pretty pleased with that. It's a little expensive, but... I mean, I don't fully bake my face. Like, I'm not an Instagrammer model who's, like, focused on that. Like, I put it on just to set it so that I'm not a hot mess. But, like, really, I'm riding, so half the time I sweat it off. But I just kind of don't want it to look terrible. So I do set it because the oil will make anything move. And if I, like, touch my horse... I don't want them to have this big thing of foundation down them. I've done that when I was a teenager. So embarrassing. So embarrassing. So embarrassing. Oh my god, I'm like, oh shit. And then I know that like half my makeup's gone and I'm like... Can't see me. Can't see this out of my face. I also did get some MAC Prep and Prime. I think it is in light boost so it is highlighter prep and prime thing so it's like for under your eyes to make them look more pop you know pop see they're popping not really because I didn't really put that much on they would be popping otherwise. So, we like that. We're a fan of that. I also did get some Tarte Creaseless. Um, just because I had to get a darker color. I got too light of a color last time. So, I just got the, 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 sorry, the, the neutral light. Because it's the mini size. They only have neutrals for some reason, which is fine. Because for the most part, I'm neutral. So, you know, it's just a concealer, you know, just, just a concealer. I mean, it's kind of hydrating. It's supposed to be creaseless, but I don't think there's any concealer that will ever not crease on my under eyes. I don't, I have like a million tiny lines and this is where like the oil accumulates. 
So it's just like everything just goes bleh. It's I have oil in weird places. Like he, right here, my nose a little, and it'll be like here, and then tiny bit on the chin. And then here's like the Sahara Desert. Like it's just dry and patchy and my nose, the tip of my nose is always flaky. It's like, I put sunscreen on, it's not burnt. Like I don't know what I'm doing. If anyone can help me with that, that would be amazing. Because, you know, struggles. I also did get this little bag of foundation samples, so that's great. I might see if I like any of them. If not, I will just donate them because other people need these more. I also got a sample of the eyeshadow primer by Too Faced. I, I had it insurance. I'm sorry. And the stale, uh, stale day thing. Again, I'll probably just donate it because I don't really need any donation. And. People that go to the shelters and stuff, they are struggling. So little things like this will make them feel better. We all know my opinions on that. But yeah, that is the end of my hopefully last Sephora haul for at least a little bit because, you know, I have a lot of my money already. I need to stop. Send help, please. Please, I'm a little addicted to shopping. Just, just the tiny bit, the tiny bit. Anyways, I think that's that's enough. Uh, if, I, if you didn't already subscribe, subscribe. Hit the like or the dislike, whichever. I'm down. You're cool. I appreciate you. You are amazing. You are awesome. And I hope you have a great day or a great night whenever you're watching this because good vibes, good vibes, it's always needed. Anyways, bye for now.